I'm Jennifer Capps. I'm with H&K Strategies. I'm supporting communications for P&G at CES. It's a pleasure to meet you, Stephen. Um, pleasure to meet you too. Um, so how's CES been for you so far? It's been really busy. I mean, I've been doing tons of different, uh, I would say just like if I was at the convention, I'm doing tons of interviews and trying to get these recorded and put up right away. But uh, it's a lot of fun, you know. I wish we were in Vegas, but uh, we're at home, we're safe. And uh, next year, hopefully we'll be all be partying together in Vegas, you know. Fingers crossed, let's hope. Yeah. So thank you for making the time to come by the Life Lab today. This is not it, this is, uh, this is my office at home, but in just a few minutes, I'm gonna take you through an introduction to the virtual version of the Life Lab, just walk you through some of the experiences that we've put together. Um, P&G has been coming to CES. This will be the third year. And I don't know if you've been to their, um, the Life Lab exhibit at CES in the past two years. Um, so P&G built a virtual exhibit that kind of brought together all of its brands in a, in a different way than, um, than they've been together at CES before. I'm sorry, just give me one minute. I'm going to close out a team. Nope, I can't do it. I'm going to set my status to focusing so we don't get these notifications. Make sure my phone's on. <laughs> there you yeah. go. I thought I was set to do not disturb, and I wasn't. So PNG has been at CES for the past two years. This will be the third one. They built this, as I was saying, this um, physical exhibit that brought all of the brands together. So rather than having, you know, SK2 and Gillette and uh, Pampers all in different places around the um, the show, it's all together in one Life Lab space. When the pandemic came came to the U.S. or really peaking around the globe, PNG was really focused on safety for consumers, for employees, um, for everybody. And so they started reevaluating their presence at CES and envisioning what it would be like to recreate that in-person in experience when we can't all be together. So since around March, PNG has been thinking of how to how to build something that um, that creates that kind of hands-on, in-person, interactive experience that we're all looking for. And I hope Fingers yeah. crossed that what I'm about to show you gets to that. So yeah. I'm gonna take you into a version of the Life Lab that's just for us. It's a little bit more private. There are a couple of people in it, but there's a public facing mm -hmm. Life Lab experience that's available at pglifelab.com. And anyone can enter whether or not they're registered for CES. And that one is pretty packed right now. So oh, stay in this private space because the, the platform uses spatial audio. So as you're walking around, you can hear people talking to each other. This just gives us a little bit more of um, a controlled environment to have these conversations and to walk you through. Yeah, very excited. So I'm about to share my screen, bear with me. Yeah. All right, so when you go to the PNG Life Lab website, you'll see a link to the PNG Life Lab exhibit. And this exhibit is up for CES with staff inside, but once CES is over, this website will stay here. So there won't be live people in it to answer your questions necessarily. PNG will staff it for other events in the future to be determined, um, but this will be explorable um, in, I, I won't say in perpetuity, but for quite some time from here on out. Gotcha. Um, you'll log in, there will be a link this because this is the private um, instance of the Life Lab. There's not a create account, but you'll be able to cre create an account, and we can send you login inf information for you. So I'm just going to sign in. Successful. That's always good. Okay. So the session will load, and then it'll take you to an avatar creation screen, and you'll create your little person. Mine's already created, um, unfortunately, but you can change the hairstyle, skin tone, the features. Um, I didn't get to pick my clothing. This is an outfit that was provided for me by PNG, but I love it anyway. Oh, I can say that's cool. <laughs> it is. It's got. It has a real gaming feel, and you'll see when I navigate you through that I am not used to gaming on a computer. Um, so there might be a little bit of bumbling around or turning in directions that uh, you might not anticipate. Yeah. So you can also select the pre-created avatar. We start you with kind of blue skin, so you get to decide where to go from there. And we'll join this very private metaverse. <clears throat> so you start at an elevator. There's a simple tutorial on the screen. We're just going to walk into the elevator. Easy. Yeah. And then we'll click here to start our journey. The elevator is meant to give you, this is really fun, 
It's meant to give you an understanding of what innovation has meant for P&G since 1837 when the company was founded. And you can see some of these category changing products that have been part of P&G since the very beginning from ivory soap that floats to the first disposable diaper um, all the way up through Mr. Clean, Tide, and you'll see as we get closer to the life lab that the innovations start to progress. Some start to involve tech or advanced science and engineering to really differentiate the product in the categories they're in. The products we use daily, wow. Yeah, they, um, there's a, a, a sort of common saying that if, if you probably have a PNG product on your shelves. Um, five billion consumers around the world every day use PNG products, so it's pretty substantial. I'm just going to adjust my settings really quick to turn this music down a little bit. I feel like I'm um, projecting a lot. Okay, we'll turn the ambience down. Welcome to the PNG Life Lab experience. We're going to turn around and enter the Life Lab environment. <laughs> it really is fun. A lot of fun with it. So there is a tutorial. I'm going to skip it for the sake of, of our interaction, but I'll tell you what you can do. Um, your avatar is set to kind of a slow walk, a gentle mosey through the life lab. If you click here, this little um, person icon, you, ca you start to jog everywhere. Nice. That'll toggle on and off. Um, sometimes your avatar gets in the way of what you're seeing. That's a pain. You can switch the perspective to first person, so you get oh, an up. Yeah. Um, and then there are a couple pictures here to interact with real people in the life lab. You can see it's pretty empty in this instance. Um, but we can see my profile here. We can chat with people who are in the life lab. So if you're looking to find somebody who has an answer to a question. Uh -huh. And then, of course, the settings that you saw before. Um, cool. Let's walk around. There's a map, I'm going to give you a little bit more. There's a map up here where you can jump to any experience directly, save yourself a little time. And then here, if you want to um, wave at someone, if you have a question that you're asking, there are all, all these expressions, gestures you can use. And of course, your session will end if you go idle. If you need to step away, you can take a break with the Charmin Bear and enjoy. <laughs> That's great. All right. So. Coming forward into the life lab experience, there are three main experience areas. There's one where PNG is spotlighting transformations in home care products. So as we've all been staying home more and more during the pandemic, and as we've all become more concerned about health and hygiene, PNG is sharing products that are either um, developed using advanced engineering. So there's a, a STEM tie in there, and of course, um, products that are leveraging tech to make home not just healthier and more hygienic, but also happier. So you'll see that in there. We'll dive in in a minute. This next, I'm pointing like you can see, um, yeah. this next experience over here is called Our Planet, Our Home. And it, it explores how um, innovation and technology are transforming sustainability and affecting our sustainable future. It's, it's really exciting. It's my favorite part of the exhibit. Don't, don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> All right. And then finally over here, there's Oral BIO. And so we'll we'll talk about oral health, oral hygiene, and the amazing toothbrushes that PNG is putting out today. Oh, very cool. Um, there's also a theater. You can pop in through the portal here. There's content that's running all week. Um, some presentations from the brands, some videos from PNG leadership. There's an innovation bar up here where you can connect with PNG's startup incubator, and also with the Connect and Develop team if there are big ideas. If you're an entrepreneur that's looking to make a connection with PNG. And then I won't take you up these stairs, but up the stairs around the corner. If you want to work at PNG, Stephen, I don't know. Um, but if you want to work at PNG, you can talk to the talent supply organization, apply for a job, find out what opportunities look like. And then, of course, there's an area where you can click on products that have been at CES for PNG for PNG in the past. There's a lot of people looking for work right now. So yeah, exactly. Come on up to the the um, the join PNG bar. Mm -hmm. So. I find myself running towards home care, but let me ask you if there's a place that you'd prefer to start. Yeah, let's go to home care. All right. So we port into this beautiful, bright white home of the future. 
and you can see the brands on display, Febreze, Cascade, Dawn, and then Microband 24, which is a more recent innovation that I'm happy to share with you in just a minute. You can see that these are kind of like you want your hair and perfume and stuff all kind of coordinating. Same idea. We're not on audio oh, yeah, right definitely. now. I'm going to try not to walk directly into people. <laughs> but if I wanted to talk to the brand team, I would press the space bar. It's actually going to stay the same. You can see the so little audio icon comes on. We'll try and navigate around in the opposite direction so we don't run into them. So P&G has brought something called the Febreze Fade Defy Plug. Um, it has a microchip built in, like a, the kind of chip that you would find in a cell phone or a computer. Oh, that, really? Wow. Yeah, so it, it optimizes the level of fragrance and the dispersion so that the it's the same level of fresh scent um, on day one as it is on day 50. So for about two months, you have a, a plug that doesn't smell like it's not a plug anymore after two weeks. Oh, is that already available? or is that That's of... already available in select markets. It's called Febreze Fade Defy. Um, so I'm not sure what the what the rollout is. I can I can find that out for you, Stephen. But um, it is. I definitely don't want to use. <laughs> I know. It's actually pretty neat. Um, Microband 24 is my favorite. There's no tech here. The bottle doesn't spray itself. But what it does do, and this so just to level set. Recently, Microband 24 was approved by the EPA as a cleanser to fight the coronavirus. Ooh, so that is epic. That. that is great. Got to have it. It's already sold out in a lot of places for just that reason. Yeah, um, but the neat thing about Microband is that it creates a um, a shield. I don't Microband know how else to describe it. It's designed to help you protect the surfaces in your home That's from what bacteria. The video said. When used as directed, it not only kills viruses and bacteria on the surface initially, it also forms a 24-hour bacteria shield that keeps killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria for 24 hours. Like a superhero of uh, cleansers. <laughs> it is. It is a pretty um, a pretty killer product, no no pun intended, when it comes to back. <laughs> Very good. There are also some more sustainable innovations. So um, when you when you wash your dis dishes in your sink, you use about um, I think four gallons of water a minute, which is a tremendous amount of water. When you when you think about the fact that the optimal water use in the home is about fifty liters a day, you and I, Stephen, we probably use about five hundred liters a day. Oh, so. Yeah. 10 minute shower, 100 liters of water straight down the drain. So the Dawn team has created something called Dawn Power Wash, which um, is a simple spray and wipe. And then you only use water when you're rinsing the dishes. It's powerful enough to remove all of the junk on your, on your dishes um, without water. So we'll see that for a second. Straight off. No water. I'll play another superhero. <laughs> it's, it's really appealing. There's also, and you may have seen these commercials, they do it every night with Cascade. Um, it's actually more water efficient with energy saving dishwashers to run a full, uh, to run a load of eight dishes than it is to wash them in, in the sink by hand. So um, Cascade is encouraging. Tagline and commercial. I'm with the <laughs> They're charming little commercials. Yeah. I like the one with Michelle Geller. So we have another microband station. There are two different products, one for the bathroom, one for the That home. means even small loads can save. All right, I'm getting stuck in a little video space. I'm gonna show you what it's like now to jump between experiences. Yeah. So let's just go straight into our planet, our home. And here's where mm -hmm. it talks about the things that it's doing individually and with, with partners to make to build a more sustainable future. So we'll start over here. I don't know if you know this, but um, recycling is, is, the economy of recycling is about the same as the economy of using virgin resin, resin when, you're, when you're developing plastics. Um, and that's largely because it's difficult to sort plastics um, at the, at the, in the recycling stream. So P&G has developed a technology um, that they're calling Holy Grail, but it puts a digital watermark on the packaging. So this is for everybody, not just P&G products. Ooh. Puts a digital watermark on the packaging that then allows recycling centers to properly identify and sort plastics based on type so that the recycling stream becomes more efficient and recapture recovery of, of used plastic materials is, um, is optimized. You can watch some content. This is PNG's Chief Sustainability Officer, Virgin Helios, um, telling you more about the Digimark um, label and Holy Grail as an as an effort. That is 
Amazing. Wow. <laughs> that, that's going to help the world a lot. I think so too. This is um, one of my two favorite parts about this, this exhibit. So there's a product called EC30. Mm -hmm. um, it came to, to CES 2019 in seed stage as something called DS3. But what this is, and you'll see it in just a second, it's a spun fabric swatch of detergent. So any detergent that you would use in the home, and I'm, I'm using that term really broadly, this would include shampoos, body washes, surface cleaners, um, laundry detergent. What they do is they take those detergents and surfactants and spin them into a, a very thin fiber that is then used to make a swatch. So you're reducing the amount of water used in the manufacturing process. Oh my it, goodness to ship to home so it's saving millions of pounds of co2 and transportation the packaging is more sustainable so it's bamboo i think still and then of course it's activated with much less water at the point of use overall so it's it's a sustainable product in so many ways there's a, a limited product line out now but it's it's as you can see um a lot of things that you would use every day in the home wow magic <laughs> that's cool it's uh, it is really cool. I got some DS3 samples at the first CES and um, used them far too quickly. Oh, is that you say that it is some? It's coming more later, or it's limited it's out now. So okay. it's, it's it's a it's a. I think there's limited availability, um, mm -hmm. but I know that there there are are plans for that line to continue. So um, if it's sold out, just keep keep looking. And then here's the 50 mm -hmm. home. So just before we dive into this experience. P&G is part of a coalition called the 50 Liter Home Coalition. And as I said before, 50 liters is the optimal use for, um, for an individual in the home. Ideally, to avoid a, a growing water crisis globally, um, we would use less and we don't. So the idea that the coalition has is to bring, um, is to educate consumers about water use, to advocate for policy change or infrastructure change that can help um, reduce the amount of water that's used on a daily basis. And then of course, to develop innovations inside the home that can make water use more efficient. So what if we could recapture kind of the gray water from washing machines and use it in the toilet? Why do we flush our toilet with clean water? So you'll see some of that in the exhibit here. I'm actually gonna go back to third person, if that works, once we get in here so we can see a couple of things. Let me toggle that again, okay. Yeah. So we are starting a place of water abundance, and that's what we feel here. I mean, I'm based in Washington, D.C. We've never had a problem with water. Um, and so this is what the world feels like to me. I take a shower without thinking about it. Um, not a military shower, just a regular one. I wash the dishes, sometimes in the sink, sometimes in the dishwasher. Average person around the world uses 150 to 500 liters of water a day. Travel to this next island where you can see some of the things that that require so much water use. Just to let you know, sinks, showers, the things that we don't think about, we use every day without um, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all that uses a lot of water if it adds up. A huge amount of water. So, uh, water efficient appliances like low flow toilets are part of the solution, but that's not all that we can do. Um, so PNG and its partners are asking important questions. Why do our toilets flush with fr flush with fresh water? Um, why does soapy rinse water from showers and washing machines end up treated the same way as sewage? It goes to sewage plants, and and it's it's not um, it's not the same as kind of black water. Ten minute shower, as I said before, up to a hundred liters of water. And now we're thinking that in the next five years. Oh, I missed that fact. But there's a growing urban water crisis. You can see some of the locations in the world where it's already becoming more of an issue. Um, and it's something that P&G and its partners are looking to more urgently um, take action against. Amazing. There's also an sustainability element. Most water usage in the home is heated water. So there's an additional um, cost and impact to heat the water um, before it's used. So PNG and its partners are reinventing the water future in homes. You'll see some of the products that I've showed you before here, the ones that are kind of promoting water efficiency, but also you'll see some additional concepts. So as you walk up to these different experiences, you can see um, why it's more efficient to use a dishwasher, um, how you can clean without using more water. There's 
um, brushing innovation and shower over here. I'm not sure why that content is not popping up. And then of course, um, there's more to explore, but I'm just trying to be, I realize this is taking some time. And then you can learn about the 50 liter home coalition, the partners and what they're trying to accomplish. And this secret little part at the end, which I love so much, after you've been through this experience, that glass of water and that knowledge that you've earned translates into 50 liters of clean drinking water donated to the Children's Safe Drinking Water Program. Um, I've done this a couple of times with the Global Design Officer, Phil Duncan. I'm sorry, the Chief Design Officer. And his favorite thing is to look back at this experience. Just, you know, it's kind of a gorgeous representation of what the world could be like if we all work to make a difference together. Absolutely. We're going to zap ourselves out of here. I don't want to go back to the real world. <laughs> Here in Waterland for a little bit. I'll turn back and look again because I think it's a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. And that's what we want. We want a world that we're where we're not fading, facing that kind of arid, um, waterless situation. All right. So from here. Actually, I'm not going to jump to Oral-B. I'm going to jump out to the Life Lab and then we can go into the Oral-B experience so you can see what the transition's like. So when I come back to the Life Lab, everything resets. I'm going to toggle my run on again so we can scoot over to the brushing station. So Oral-B.io premiered at CES 2020. Mm -hmm. um, it was not yet in market. They did demos and, and brushed, I can't remember how many thousands of teeth at CES, which is probably to everyone's benefit. But now the, the brush is in market and there um, there have been some upgrades to the interface. So IO uses position detection and connects with an app to help you make sure you're brushing your teeth properly and thoroughly. It has a pressure sensor that makes sure you're not doing damage to your gums by brushing too hard. Um, it reminds you when to change the brush head. So it has all of these um, great features that are meant to help improve oral health. The overall, um, because as we know, oral health has an impact, a direct impact on whole body health. So periodontal disease is an early indicator of additional problems. You can pop. Hey, this is available now. I definitely got to get this. Yeah, it is available now. It's in market. Um, the the cool thing about Oral B. So I don't. You have you used an electric toothbrush before, Stephen? Oh yeah. You know they buzz a lot. It's kind of like um, it's a little bit jarring. That sensation um, is is really off-putting to a lot of people. So um, the Im imagination of PNG, these wonderful engineers um, for Oral-B designed a linear drive motor that reduces the vibration and gives you a, a smoother brushing experience. If you hold a standard electric toothbrush and an, and an IO side by side, you can really feel how much of a reduction there is in that that kind of sensation of you know jackhammering your face to get your teeth clean in the morning. Daily clean, whitening, gum care, sensitive, so intense. Again, I'm walking. Sensitive. All around, you can you can engage with little videos. And of course, if you need a dance break. I know you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> my avatar has way better dance moves. All right. I need to be too, but that's right. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So let's go back to the Life Lab and see if you have any questions. Is there anything about any of these experiences that we can dive into more detail for? Um, if not, we're happy to send you a link so you can explore on your own and, and kind of see some of the content. Again, this is all available at pglifelab.com. So please. Um, you know, uh, we can connect you directly, but don't hesitate to stop by and learn more. Yeah, well, I definitely want to look forward to treating my own avatar and coming back and chatting. Uh, it, this was great because everything was simple. It was easy. I, I, I understood everything. And I, I think people are going to love coming in and learning about all the, all the great stuff that PNG is doing. Yeah, it's been a real pre pleasure to see it come to life, and I'm really glad we got to share it with you today. Um, I, I hope you're able to come back into the more public metaverse and interact with people the same way that you would at CES. You got a little, a little bit of it in the home care when we overheard conversations, but there's a lot more bustle happening over there and people really um, chattering about what PNG has brought to the, the exhibit this year or the show this year. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to talk to me. This was epic i enjoyed this i really felt like i was a little piece of back of being at cs so thank you so much yeah no problem thank you steven